I will start this talk with an excerpt from Swami's Divine Discourse on December 25th, 1995. To me, this excerpt wonderfully summarizes Swami's understanding of Jesus and his teachings and how aptly it relates to the times we are facing as a human race today. Swami said, quote, Today, we celebrate the birthday of Jesus. It is said that when Jesus was born in a manger, three kings were led by a star to Jesus' place of birth. In fact, they were not kings, but three shepherds. One of them, seeing the infant Jesus, observed, This child will be a lover of God. A second one said, No, God will love him. The third one said, Verily, he is God himself. The true significance of these three statements is, To love God is to be his messenger. To be loved by God is to be a son of God. The final state is to be one with God. As Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Thus, all persons are messengers of God. This means that they should divinize themselves. When can men call themselves sons of God? Recognize what pure actions are done by God, selflessly for the sake of all. There is no trace of self-interest in him. Everything he does, says, or thinks is for the good of others. On the other side, everything men do, speak, or think is born out of selfishness. Men have become puppets in the hands of selfishness. Men can describe themselves as sons of God only when they are completely free from selfishness and become godly. To call yourself the son of God, you have to manifest the qualities of the Father. End quote. As Swami so wonderfully summarized, Jesus was named the Son of God because he was synonymous with love. His dedication to the service of others was the very essence of why he qualified to be identified as one and the same as God. The purpose of Christmas is often lost behind the decorations, gifts, and family gatherings. But this year, there are some harsh truths that no amount of decorating can cover up. Although we have all put on a brave face to move on with our lives in the midst of an unprecedented public health crisis, we can't possibly turn a blind eye to people's pain and suffering we are exposed to every single day. There are many Christmas tables around the globe that will have at least one empty chair. There are countless who no longer have a roof over their heads because they just can't seem to make ends meet in this pandemic. There have been one too many incidents of blatant injustice that repeatedly play over and over again on our televisions. And there are people who are silently suffering because they don't know how to cope and are on the verge of giving up. To treat this Christmas like every other Christmas of the past would be a mistake. As Swami put it, the ultimate goal is not just to imitate Jesus or imitate Swami. It is only through unfiltered selflessness can we truly call ourselves the sons and daughters of God? 
The time period we're living in right now is presenting us with a unique opportunity. Never in the history of modern civilization, in the recent history of modern civilization, has an entire society gone through such a reckoning together, such that a person in the richest zip code in America can relate to the poorest village in Africa. The pandemic never did and never has differentiated between races, socioeconomic levels, or countries. Never has there been so much in common among us as a society because we braved this crisis together and are connected in more ways than we ever imagined. It is the perfect breeding ground to cultivate that selfless love, empathy, and service for others that Jesus exemplified as the pathway to becoming true sons and daughters of God. Swami once said, man's biggest folly is forgetting his divinity. All should realize that they come from God. All are children of God. Everyone should seek to get nearer and nearer to God. That is sadhana. You must feel like God dwells in your heart. You must develop compassion in the heart because without it, the heart is only a stone. We have a tremendous opportunity to get as close as we can to this inner divinity that Jesus talked about and Swami talked about. And maybe this Christmas can be the Christmas that truly lives up to its purpose.